so nice here. Right? Isn't it so peaceful? Yeah, it's so nice. It's beautiful. No one will hear you scream. Huh? I said it's like a dream. We should we should head back. Why? We're almost there. I heard you. Ah! Mabia, uh. tell me what you like most about me. What I like most about you? Mm-hmm. Uh I mean you're very caring mm -hmm. and kind. Mm -hmm. Why do I look like that? Look like what? Is the camera on? No. Why do I look like that? Babe! Look like what? What do you mean what? That's what you look like. Why do I... Why'd you stop talking? Why do my eyes look like they're running away from each other? What is that? What do you mean that's what you look like, babe? Let me see. That's what you look like! No, I d Stop playing. I'm not playing! Why do I look like... Dandelion? Why do I look like that? <laughs> No, you don't. That's literally they your face. They do this every year. That one. <laughs> Sit the sloth. I look like that, honey. <laughs> That's what literally the... your face. Nope. Stop playing. Seriously? <laughs> yes. Let me go see. <laughs> honey, can you take pictures of me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you, can you like, get the view? You have the view? Mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. I look good? Mm -hmm. My shoes? Your shoes? Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Babe, can you get up a little bit? Go up oh, okay. a little bit. Okay, the ratio, up. I taught you this, okay? Okay. If okay. you go too low, it's going to show my double chin. I don't like that. <laughs> bug, 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 bug. <laughs> I fucking hate bugs. bugs. Why do they even exist? I mean, Honey, make me laugh, okay? How do I make you laugh? The girls always make me laugh. Okay, okay. <laughs> can you see? Babe. What? Can you do a little better? Okay. <laughs> Let me see the phone. Men can't do anything right. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I've had it up to here with Michelle's attitude lately, okay? And I've done literally everything a husband can possibly do, do to make her feel better and to have her be nice to me. But for whatever reason, she wants to give me attitude 24 7. Can you come here, please? What did I even Can you come here, please? Front and center. A key, okay? Come here, come here. I literally, she got her lashes done. She looks so pretty. She got her lashes done, okay? And she got, I got her a little like cushion kit. She made this stupid, cute little dinosaur. It's not stupid. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna show her. I'm gonna show her what type of attitude she's been giving me. So, here we go. What do you want me to do? Just ask me where I want to eat, babe, and I'll show you what you're saying. Where do you want to eat, babe? babe? Baby, just because <laughs> you were in my vicinity and breathing and asked me that stupid question, I messed up on my freaking makeup and I have to start all over again, and now we're going to be 30 minutes late because of you. I do not say that. Okay, now you better, you better text Jeff and tell him we're going to be late because of you. I don't say that. You do. Daddy? Yeah? May I ask you a question? What's up? What? You're not even listening. Oh my gosh, you have such selective hearing. You're talking so quietly, I couldn't even hear anything. Yeah, exactly. Do you understand now? Babe. What? You need to do something about your skin. What? Yeah, your skin looking not good lately. My skin? Yeah, like those pores, and those are like volcano craters. What? You need to, can I squeeze them out? Let me squeeze them out. <laughs> I do not roast you like and that. And why, why do you breathe like that? <laughs> Baby! Like a I person. do not do that! You do. No, I don't. That's so oh, mean! Yeah. You do. <laughs> You're so mean to me all the time. Tell me why my husband likes to ask me where things are around the house as if he doesn't live here himself. You have a mental map of where everything is. Why would no! I okay, so literally this morning, Andy was making breakfast, right? And I was downstairs getting ready, and I just hear him from upstairs go, Babe, where's the ketchup? And I'm like, babe, it's in the fridge. It's literally always been in the fridge since we got ketchup. It has where not in the fridge? moved. And he's like, where? I don't see it. I can't find it. So then I start walking upstairs, and I'm purposefully stopping so oh, that I he can get a little scared. I and I'm like, babe, I swear, if I find it, as soon as I get there, I'm going to find it. I swear, I look everywhere. I look on the doors. I look in the freezer. Like, why is it going to be in the freezer? He says he freezer. looks as in he just peeks, doesn't move anything. To I look. look. So then I will come upstairs, and I'll open the door. I'm like... Babe, it's literally right there. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like she's she, it's like she's a witch. She's a witch, okay? It just magically appears after I literally scour through all the shelves. When she walks up the stairs, of course it's just magically where it's supposed to be. I don't understand. It's How is that my fault? I am looking. 
looking. I'm using my eyeballs and I'm trying to look as much as I can, but you magically make it appear. How's that fair? It's literally in the same exact place. It's not fair. <laughs> my wife is so unbelievable. I'm going to tell you guys why. We go grocery shopping pretty often, okay? Every time we go, I pull into the car because I'm, I'm the guy and I'm doo -doo -doo -doo, I come in. And she's, and she's right behind me usually. Two seconds later, I turn around, she's not there. She vanishes like she never even came with me. And she doesn't, she disappears the entire time that I'm picking out different produce and healthy food. She does nowhere in sight. And then, of course, at the end, when I pull up to the checkout line, I can see her in one of the aisles just eyeing me to make sure that I'm getting ready to check out. And then right when I get to the belt, the conveyor belt, when it's too late to return stuff, she'll walk in. She'll walk in like this. And put all this stuff down. Bags of chips, chocolates, candy, food stock ramen. This was a five pack. We have two left. It's been, it's been a day and a half. She's 83 already. Sometimes I get cravings. Okay? okay, yeah, she gets cravings. But she waits. She waits until I'm on the conveyor belt for the checkout line and she dumps it there and she goes, is that okay? What am I gonna say? What am I gonna put everything back? The person's checking out, they already hate the fact that I have so much stuff. And they look at me, I look at them, I look at Michelle, she looks at me and she goes, please. And I'm like, okay. It's a so, tactic. So now I'm here with bags and bags of chips. Don't which, act like by you the way, eat some of them. by the way, she was the one that said, New Year, new me, I'm gonna eat healthy celery, no dip. Hey, no shame. Sometimes she gets cravings, okay? No shame. Don't they have a tactic, okay? Just keep them right next keep them right next to you. Cause they're gonna they're gonna show up with unhealthy food. I, I promise you. Today we're gonna be rating each other from one to ten. You can go first. Okay. Easy. Eleven out of ten. She's perfect, okay? Really? Looks eleven out of ten. Cooks eleven out of ten. Funny, caring, eleven out of ten. So sweet, Bobby. Okay. Her booty, eleven out of ten. Can't complain. <laughs> A 10 out of 10 recommend, but you guys can't have any of it. Okay, well, I mean, I gave him a 3 out of 10. And maybe like... A 3? <laughs> maybe, like, maybe like on a good day, I would say like a 5 out of 10. But average... Higher is like a, a 5? 3 out of 10. Yeah. That's kind of hard. Yeah, but it's realistic, honey. For example, okay? <laughs> I, I like like funny guys. And I feel like he's like... He's not really like a comedian necessarily. He like tries to make jokes <laughs> in there and like... You know the jokes where you just kind of like laugh because you don't want them to feel bad? That's kind of what I have to do sometimes on those days, 3 out of 10, right? In terms of his body, like I, he's like very fit and all, like he's very like strong, but I kind of like my guys a little meaty <laughs> because like when I cuddle them, it's like nice and soft mm. and like warm, you know? You're kind of oh. like, you're kind of like hard. <laughs> it's like oh. a rock. It's oh. like laying on a rock versus laying on a bed. I see. You know what I mean? I see. Yeah. And I like guys with a beard. A like beard? a full on like nice like man. Hey, since when did you like beards? I always like beards. What? Really? Yeah. I mean I can grow it out, but it's just like I only have like six, seven hairs. <laughs> so it'd be like a really long six, seven hairs. It's a joke, babe. I'm serious, I can grow it. <laughs> can you be careful? I am, baby. Oh, it feels so sharp. I'm gonna make it look nice, don't worry. You promise? Yeah. Okay. Oh. What? what do you mean oh? What is oh? Shh. Hey, what is oh am i bleeding no it's fine you're going deep yeah you have a lot of hair your okay, I'm eyebrows not bad, are Harry. so like messed up don't be jealous i got more hair than you <laughs> let me do the other side gentle jeez you have so much okay i'm gonna take off it's gonna feel like a lot don't do too much you have honey. too much be gentle 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 honey gentle please. i am gentle i am honey you have a unibrow i don't Okay, it's like two, three hairs, okay? It's not a unibrow. It's a little bit of, little bit of peach fuzz. Okay, it might be a little thinner than you're used to. What does that mean? Okay, but I think it looks good. It looks thin. good, Bevy. Why are they so thin? <laughs> what do you do? They look good. Look, now it actually looks like you have like eyebrow shape. Look, look at what that. What shape? A line? No, it looks good. Honey. Okay, it's a little thin, but it'll grow back. And it's thinner than a chopstick! <laughs> it looks fine. You can just... <laughs> it's supposed to make me look good, not look like a grandma that's you drawing on her good. eyebrows. What do you mean? Uh, it looks good. Look. Are you sure it looks good? Yeah, I think it looks good. I mean, she's a little thin, but... It's not bad. Fine. <laughs> I guess I could... It's not that bad. <laughs> Does anybody's wife or girlfriend do this too? Dude, she's yeah. leaving for she's leaving for another trip, but it's only for a day. Thank God. One but day, one night. She has a nice little bag, right? She yeah. has a nice little go bag. This is 
plenty for one day. No, 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 no. Okay, she has a whole, oh my God, so heavy. She has a whole suitcase for an overnight trip. Why do you, you should see her on a seven day trip. She has like four of these things. She packed six pairs of jeans, yes. 12 pairs of underwear, yes. 12 pairs of socks. Yes. Why? Because, baby, what if I'm like walking on the street and someone spills their coffee all over my clothes, so I have extra clothes to wear. And then if they get to my socks, then that's disgusting because I have extra socks too. Okay, that's one pair of pants. You have five more pairs for what? What if someone spills coffee on me every okay. day? Okay. <laughs> Every day is still two days. It's today and tomorrow. You're coming back tomorrow. Why do you need a whole suitcase? It's better to be safe than sorry, okay? You know what's in that bag? This bag right here? It's not even close. It's all skincare, hair dryer, hair curler. Hey, that was good. <laughs> My wife Michelle never learns her lesson, and I'll tell you why. Yesterday, she got her wisdom teeth extracted. She got two pulled. And as you can tell, she's <laughs> she's she's extremely swollen. Oh okay, my God. she's not supposed to be this swollen, but she is. And I'll tell you why. Yesterday, the doctor told me while she was intoxicated with a bunch of uh, sed sedatives and stuff like that, so she wasn't awake. The doctor had told me clear instructions: no solid food, no popcorn, no chips, just soups, puddings, yogurt, and that's it. And I told her this. I told her, hey. The doctor told me to tell you this. Don't eat this, this, and this. And she goes along and starts eating chips and popcorn and whatever she wants. And now, hot Cheetos. and this morning, we had to go back and get her stitches redone because they tore and she didn't listen to me, okay? And here's the greatest part about this situation. We go in and the dentist oh obviously God. got upset and was like, it's only been one day, what happened? And I told him what happened. I told him, I told you exact, I told her exactly what you told me to tell her. And she didn't listen. And then she, he obviously goes on to reprimand her. Let's call him uh, Dentist Calvin. Okay, very good looking dude. But then Calvin tells her, hey, you need to stop doing this and you need to stay away from these things. And she goes, I'm sorry, okay. What, why? All of a sudden she doesn't listen to me, but she listens to Dr. Dentist Calvin. Is it because he's better looking than me? I mean, this is- I mean, oh, okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. <laughs> Ladies and relationships, are you guys this spoiled? Exhibit A. <laughs> My wife and I have something called the four months of death. For me, it's four months of death. For her, it's four months of joy and gifts. For example, from December, January, February, and March, she gets four months worth of gifts. I'll tell you why. Christmas. She has Christmas in December. We also celebrate our marriage anniversary in December. So she gets two times the gifts in December. January, it's her birthday, right? Birthday. Beautiful girl's birthday. So she gets gifts at the end of the month because it's her birthday. February, Valentine's Day just passed. Thank goodness it's still over. I mean, thank goodness it's over. She also gets Valentine's Day gifts. March, we used to celebrate our dating anniversary. We started dating in March. So she yeah. used to get gifts from December all the way to March. So that's why, for me, my wallet used to cry. Just every month from December all the way to March. Four months of death. Four <laughs> months of death. But for her, she's like, it's not death. It's not that bad. Of course it's not that bad for you because all you get is gifts for four months. All I'm saying is, <laughs> I appreciate her. And that's why it's my choice. I choose to, you know, spoil her. But my wallet ends up just having a conversation with me the next day and be like, what are you doing? So anyways, until next year, sayonara four months of death. <laughs> Ladies, why are you guys like this? Just like you, my wife refuses to drink water every day. She'll drink teas, she'll drink boba, she'll drink chai lattes. Those she'll drink have water in it. That's her excuse for it because they contain very little bits of water. So as long as she's drinking a lot of those during the day, she's getting her water intake. But guys, husbands, boyfriends, I found a hack, okay? All you need to do is find a cute water bottle for them to drink. She's, she's refilled this two or three times in the last two days, which is still not a lot of water, but at least she's drinking water. That's more water than she's had for the entire seven years of our relationship, okay? Look, she's, been filling this, she's been filling this up every other day, okay? Drinking all the water. All we need to do is find a cute water bottle that she likes to hang around her neck or likes to have around and look at something pink, something blue, something sky blue, and she'll, they'll drink water. And it lights up. I wanna, I wanna ask you right now, how have your headaches been? I don't have any yet. Oh wow, <laughs> oh wow, she doesn't have any headaches. Get her a cute water bottle, trust me. My wife was having a really, really off day, headaches, period, cramps, just in a bad mood, right? 
So I'm gonna teach you men how to improve your girl's mood within a couple minutes, okay? Take her to round one, okay? And get really, really good. Like I'm talking very, very good at the claw machines there. Because plushies, the really soft ones, and not the off-brand ones, are the best way and the only way to a girl's heart, to be honest. Because who can be upset and be sad and be in pain hugging all of these plushies? Oh my God, the so answer crazy. is, you can't be upset. And at the end of the day, after she's smothered with 20 or 30 of these, <laughs> baby, how do you feel now? I can't go lay down. You feel better? Yeah. <laughs> Get good at claw machines. Just trust me on that. <laughs> you like it, Pookie? <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> okay, so my wife has this problem, right? Ever since we got these dang cats. <laughs> sorry, fur babies. She's been spending nonstop money on our fur babies, okay? We have five litter boxes. Five. We have two cats. That means we should have two litter boxes. But we have five. No. Two for every floor, Maybe okay? One. Two each plus one? Okay? Plus, we have, I don't know how many freaking cat towers they need to climb up and look down on us, but we have literally like four or five different cat towers They're for two different cats, okay? Those aren't cheap, honey. And then guess what? Guess what? She went out the other day. She came back giggling at home. Guess what she bought? She bought portraits of the cats, okay. not portraits of me. We don't have any pictures of us on our walls, <laughs> but she got the dip. Pictures of the dang cats, honey. I'm sorry, fur babies, honey. Okay, but is it cute or not? It's cute. I guess it's kind of cute. Okay, then. Fine. My wife is unbelievable, okay? We share our locations. It's for safety reasons, okay? So if she gets kidnapped, I know where to find her and we can, you know, figure that out. But she checks that thing almost every five to 10 minutes when I'm not home. Why? You would think it's for, you know, the reasons that you would think of. Maybe I'm up to something sketchy. Maybe I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Nope, it's because she likes to ask, whenever I'm near a boba spot or like a fast food chain, she goes, can you bring me back some food? Can you bring me back some boba? And she always texts me, I see where you are. I see you. You know what to do. Can you bring me back an oolong milk tea with honey boba and 75% uh, sweetest? And I'm like, bro. Oh, yeah. She doesn't even check to see if I'm okay. She only checks to see around where I am. She doesn't check if I'm moving. She just checks, oh my gosh, is, she, is he near a sun, right? You is he near a kung fu tea? It's never, honey, are you okay? When are you coming home? It's always, can you get me something to eat? Can you bring back some Chipotle home? Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Where's my spoon? <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You slowly, honey. Mm. Take your time. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> wow. Nothing. This just tastes really good. Everybody, listen to what this man is saying. <laughs> All right I'm now. saying is, honey, you love children, I love children, why not make it happen? Okay? <laughs> that doesn't <Listen>. mean <laughs> I want one yet. According to your charts, I took a look at your flow charts recently. What? And um, it looks like you're ovulating and very fertile for the next four to five that? days. Which means that if we do the love making for four to five days, every day, if you if you so please, I would not be objection for that. I would not object to making love for four or five days. Then you, you have, have a high probability of you getting pregnant. 
But that okay. doesn't mean I honey, want a baby honey, yet. Think about the breast. <clears throat> think about the. It's, think about the children we could show our love it's to. It's always the breast milk. No, no, no. For that's men. not. That's we the can, breast milk. Hey, I'm the father. They can share that. Okay? <laughs> I just want to taste. I'm just so curious. And and honey, little me's and little you's running around everywhere. Come on. Come on. Honestly, our mini. We can make it happen. Really cute. I, I know you're ovulating. I know you want me. I want you. You want me, don't you? I know it. I know it. I read about it. Okay? Now, <laughs> turn the camera off. Join me. Basement. Now. You want? Ew. Come on, please! <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm yeah. in trouble. Yeah. So today is Amazon Prime Day, okay? Which, <gasps> nationally, I guess it's for all women, married and single, to collectively come together and irresponsibly spend their money on multiple things that they don't need for their house, okay? It's not irresponsible. This morning, this morning, she was all snickering and laughing on her side of bed, just like, <laughs> and clicking away. And she looks over at me and she goes, honey, is it okay if I buy a couple things today? I didn't know it was Amazon Prime Day. I thought she was going to spend like 20, 30 bucks on stuff that we actually practically need for the home. So I said, sure, honey. And she goes, okay, great. Okay, I wake up, I wake up, not to my alarm, but to like three or four Amazon emails. Basically them telling me, hey, here's a summary of your order. 20 things. We all need 20 it. 20 things. I want you to think about how much, they, how, much, how, how much do you think she spent, okay? Take that times by 10. $2,000, three zeros. There's One, two, three. that we need to buy for the house that we, we have We don't need, buy. we're not missing 20 things in our house, honey. Okay? It was on sale. On sale. I don't know what to do. Really good deal. I literally don't know what to do. She's like, oh my gosh, yeah, we saved so much money. We did save money. It was a deal. And then he was on sale. Saved money? Can someone explain why women do this? Because my wife, okay, let me give you a little context. We ran out of toilet paper, okay? This morning, I literally had to use one square of toilet paper. I folded it up and I carefully wiped, okay? I, I, I sent her. I was like, we ran out of toilet paper. I know it's very dangerous to send you here, but I'm gonna send you a target. Can you please pick up just some toilet paper? Just only toilet paper. <laughs> oh, this is my ladies house. and gentlemen, only to, excuse me, only toilet, only to, oh, what is this? For the cat. For the dang fur babies. <laughs> baby lotion? We don't even have a baby yet. I want one, but we don't have one. It smells good. Like, bad. bro, only only toilet paper. This is, this is $20. This I also got some towels. May I see the receipt, please? No! May I see the receipt? $300. No! $296. And I got a gift card. So. And she discount. got a gift card. <laughs> so apparently it's $200. Eighty-seven dollars. Good job, you can match. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. Right? I'm so hungry. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hey. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> what is that? It's my food. Yo, why do you have so little? That's like five percent of what I have. I mean, we just didn't have enough left, so it's okay. I'm we didn't have enough left. Mm -hmm. No, babe, this is Honey, too much. Why, why are you... Oh, exactly, it's too much. You eat to your heart's content. No, okay? baby. No, 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 no. You eat until you're full. It'll, it'll, this will last me for like five minutes until you're full. You, no. You're, like, you're, full after you like two, you're full after two, three bites. Eat as much as you want. And babe. then I'll have yours. It's fine. No, this is huh. too much. <laughs> Do you want it? I didn't think so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good one. What is that? Hey, what is this? Did you already buy it? Yeah, it's the coat hanger and the lotion that you asked for. We're not gonna go inside the store? Why don't we go inside? I asked for a curbside pickup for a reason. Baby, you know I like Target a lot and I like to go in and talk to you when we go through the aisles and stuff. <laughs> Why did you get curbside pickup? So we save money and I don't unleash you. But it's like spending time together. It's like a date. You know I like going inside with you. You want to go inside that van? Yeah, it's like a, we can talk and stuff and hang out. Okay, one lap. Me? We're only doing one lap. And you can't <laughs> spend over $50, okay? Okay. Hakta! <laughs> Who was that? Spit on that thing. Spit on what thing? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't know what that means? Hakta, spit on that thing. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Haktu, spin on that thing. Who are you spinning on? Babe, you don't know what it means? I know the haktu part. Yeah, so listen. It's what you do. It's what you spin do. It's what you do after you lose an argument. You go, come here, baby. No, <laughs> you're not. Come here. 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 Come here.
<laughs> you go, come here. <laughs> That's After losing an argument, or if I'm mad at you, you go, you go, where's your, where's your hair? <laughs> you go like this, and you go, no, I don't. Come here, babe. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Michelle and her, all her girlies have been going to yoga for the past three weeks and they've been really excited about it and I understand why. I looked up their website and they have a new freaking yoga instructor, Alejandro from Spain. You looked at the website? Don't talk to me, okay? Alejandro <laughs> from Spain. No wonder they'd be waking up so early to get to Mr. Alejandro's class all the time. Yo, so his classes are really good. I found a way to combat this. Right what? All right. Honey, I'm your new yoga instructor. You're here for class, right? We didn't even buy all this stuff. You don't need Alejandro anymore when you have Andy. I watched a couple YouTube videos. This is called the Warrior Team. Where did you learn that pose from? I also have a pose you can work on, honey. That I can work on. This one's called the cow pose. Honey, <laughs> you need some work with this one. What do you mean? Shh, honey, too loud. You're disrupting my zen. Boy, you can't even stand straight. Look. <laughs> Let me know whenever you feel better. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me know. Bye. <sighs> Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Signal! <laughs> Tesla drivers, bro. They have a whole robot driving for them and they still can't drive. So are you going to let me in or are you just going to keep inching forward like a dumb <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at him merging so slow. Why is he merging so slow? Babe, I feel like once you hit a certain age, you should really be retested for driving. Because why are there 80, 90-year-olds driving? They can't even see. Look, look, now he's getting out of his car. You're going to have to fight him now, babe, because I'm not fighting him. What? <laughs> First one to move, make center. Okay, fine, I'll make dinner. <laughs> okay, babe, can you get out real quick? I'm gonna change. Okay, so change. What do you mean, get out? No, get out. I'm gonna change my shirt. I want some privacy. Privacy? Go! Honey, I've seen, I'm very familiar with all no, of this. No, baby! I saw all of that about 10 minutes ago. No, stop! I still want to change. Can you go? Okay, bye. ready for the show. I'm here for the show, honey. Oh, I just told you to leave. I'll leave after the show. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, what are we watching? Babe, I do not like the energy you're bringing right now. Can you just, like, go downstairs and play video games or something? What energy? Because I'm, like, I'm, like, having me time right now. I'm cramping, and I don't like your energy. And you're sitting on the blanket. Okay, thanks. Can you just go downstairs? Okay, all right. But before you go, can you give me a glass of water and then go away? And maybe some cheese sticks too. <coughs> you are unbelievable. <laughs> you are unbelievable. <laughs> Move. 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 Okay. Oh, God. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Move. Ow! Move. Move. I want to say move.
Okay, babe, when I snap my fingers, you're gonna forget you were gay. What? what, what? <gasps> I'm not gay. Yeah! I huh? snapped my fingers, you forgot you were gay. I'm not gay. It worked! Babe, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. Yeah, because it's not my fingers. Wow, I can't believe that worked. That's actually crazy. What is happening? That's crazy. I'm not, honey. Just because I do stuff with the homies like that is a joke, okay? I'm not gay. Yeah, because I snapped my fingers, you forgot. What? We're literally married, I'm not gay. Is that what you tell yourself? It's okay, baby. What? What's going on? Baby, you're still in bed, we have to go. Okay, I'll get up in a second, chill. Baby, we need to leave in 10 minutes. Can you get up? Babe, I'm already ready. I'm like ready to go. This is why I set an alarm an hour early so that we can start getting ready so that we won't be late. You always wait until the last minute to start getting ready and then I get stressed out and we're rushing and we're going to end up late and it's so... Ready. Can you have five more minutes? I'm so glad we're not fighting and not arguing anymore. Yeah, I'm glad we forgave each other. Yeah, but for some reason, it feels like you're still mad at me. What? I'm not mad at you anymore. Are you sure? Yeah. Hi, Jola. Baby, can you hold this? Hi, Baby! Hi! I miss you! I miss you too. <laughs> so bad it's like coming out i gotta go can i come too no dang babe can you scoot over i'm about to fall off the side of the bed no i don't have any space over there baby you don't have any space no <laughs> ladies why do you guys tell your man that you're just gonna go window shopping and when in reality you're not trying to window shop at all <laughs> this morning we went to the mall and we were walking around window shopping, as in looking with our eyes and not spending any money. And then she gets to that one store, that one store she can't help but go in. And so we go in and she picks up a piece and she goes, oh my gosh, like, this is so cute. Like, Very kind of cute. I kind of want to try it on. And then she side eyes me and I go, go try it on. She goes, okay. She runs into the changing room. I'm waiting there and she comes out and she's like, oh my gosh, babe, this looks so good on me, right? And I'm like, yeah, honey, it looks so good. And she goes, yeah, but like, I bought something last week so I shouldn't buy this one. <laughs> And she like looks at me with those puppy eyes. She, with those puppy eyes, she goes, I shouldn't buy this one. And I go, fine. And she goes, okay. And she goes back in. 
And that's the trap. That's the trap. Once you say yes, it's too late. She gets another Fish jacket. Back. She gets a pair of pants. And she gets the whole outfit together. And she goes, oh my gosh, babe. I have to buy the rest too. And I'm like, I, I, I guess, honey. I guess. <laughs> and so now, we just came back with seven bags. Sorry. I had to carry seven bags up the stairs because I decided to say yes to her window shopping. It's a trap. <laughs> Don't believe them. Ladies, don't make the same mistake that my wife did, okay? She ruined her own Valentine's Day. It's coming up, but she ruined it already, and I'll tell you how, okay? Yesterday, she got very upset because I, her husband of two years, been married for two, been together for like seven years, had, she was just like, oh, you haven't asked me to meet your Valentine's yet. Yeah. And I was like, honey, Valentine's Day isn't until the 14th. But let me tell you this, okay? She was like, you haven't planned anything. You haven't asked me to be your Valentine's Day. You haven't, you haven't done anything for me. And so she got really upset, like really, really upset. And I was like, honey, just, just wait. Without giving it away, I was like, I was like, please, just don't ask me anymore. Just wait, because I had something planned for the 14th. Okay, I had something planned. I had something mad. We were gonna go to Disneyland. I was gonna take her to Sweetheart Night. We we're gonna have a nice dinner. But she ended up just pressing me, and she was like, "What are we doing? What are we doing?" And so I told her. I told her what we were doing because she got very upset. And then she got even more upset that yeah. I had told her what we were planning to do. You're not supposed to tell me what you're doing. Are you? You, are you ruined it. I ruined it. You asked me, and I just told you what you wanted to hear, and I, I, I just don't understand women. Okay? Don't ask your boyfriend or your husband what we're doing for Valentine's Day. Maybe he's planning. You ruined it. I don't get women. My wife likes to smell and bite me aggressively throughout the day, every day, random times of the day. I could be waking up early, I could be going to the gym, I could be coming back from the gym right after the shower, late at night. She loves to smell me, and it's not just regular, it's not just regular, oh, baby, you smell nice, you smell nice today. It's, <laughs> it, it's like she's, you know, it's like she's doing something. Because I freaking love you! And she also, she follows it, she follows it up with aggressive biting, she goes, <laughs> like that's what she does. Throughout the day, all day. And she, she swears it's the best smell she's ever smelled in her life. Before I wear cologne on date nights and stuff, she'll say, hey babe, is it okay if you don't wear cologne today? Is yeah. it okay? I she, like your natural smell more. What natural, what natural smell? I'm clean right now. Yeah, I like it. I mean, listen, I'm not complaining. She's very affectionate when she smells me, but it's throughout the day, all day, all day. <sighs> uh, uh, and she bites me too, all over my arms, my neck, my back, my legs, everywhere. It's non-stop. But she swears it's the best smell ever and it's like an un uncontrollable urge to bite and smell me. You don't like it? I love it. My husband thinks that doing makeup is so easy, so today he's gonna be doing my makeup. He always goes, why are you taking so long? It's so easy. So you're gonna do mine today. Here you go. Okay, Ben. <laughs> okay, the first step um, is this uh, pipe cleaner. Yeah, we comb it. <laughs> so we comb and now we've shaded it. Yeah. We shaded it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can Honey. already feel how like how no, hard you're pushing. No, no, you just don't understand. Okay. Wait, that's actually kind of Wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. So if you guys didn't know, uh what you're supposed to do is actually beat the face. So we're gonna be applying this it. This is concealer. <laughs> Please uh, poke my eye out, okay? So this is called eyeliner. We line the eyes with this pen. Oh my god. <laughs> Does it? Fa Mulan. <laughs> Present! <laughs> Look at the pot. <laughs> Let the man work, okay? Let the man work. Ooh. I set it all in, you know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> hey, 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 hey. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> I'm never letting my wife drive ever again. And I'll tell you why. This morning at 8 a.m., we decided to go to the gym. And she was like, hey, honey, I feel a little mm, non-passenger princessy. Can I drive today? And I was like, cool, honey. Yeah, of course you can drive. And I was actually really impressed. She was actually handling the SUV really well. And we pull out of the parking lot and we cross the street into our gas station. And next thing you know, she's talking about, see, this is really easy. Driving is not that hard. And she makes a 90 degree turn onto the curb of the gas station. And we're just like, you just go, go, go. <laughs> and both of us kind of realized what was happening. And we both stared straight, 
kind of like giggling. And of course, the next thing I feel is her face is just <laughs> turning to the left and goes, You didn't <laughs> see anything, okay? And I just lost and I was like, To oh. be fair, I used to drive a Civic, so it was a lot smaller. I'm just not used to driving big cars, okay? I can't tell the dimension. Yeah, she can't tell the dimension. She also can't see the curb. That is also <laughs> very much like a foot and a half above the ground in LA because the curb's high. Hey! Honey, stick to being a passenger princess. <laughs> okay. My wife is not here. She left me three days ago to go to a bachelorette. And now I have this entire house to myself and this is day three and I've done everything that I could possibly do in this house. I literally cleaned every part of the house. Super, super squeaky clean. I've done all the dishes. I feed the cats on time. I clean the litter boxes. I vacuumed the entire house. I went on walks. I've been to the park. I've done everything, but nothing's fun alone. What do what do single people do nowadays? Other than, like you know being responsibly married, but like single activities in terms of like to make sure they're not bored. Like I've done everything that I possibly could think of. I've gone grocery shopping for myself. I made dinner for myself, and it's just lonely. And babe, I miss you. Okay, I miss you like crazy. Please. Please come home because right now I have nobody to annoy. There's nothing. Please come home and tell me to do the dishes or tell me to do the laundry or tell me to vacuum the house or tell me to do something. Please, please, this no communication thing is driving me crazy. Please come home. I miss you. Today I found out that my husband is not as smart as I thought he was. Okay, what do you think when you see this? What's the first thing you think of, okay? I was cleaning the bed, okay, the, our bedroom, and on the right side under her bed I found this lying there. And I was like, wow. I'm not good enough for her. She had, she had, she needed some help. Cause obviously, the first thing you think of when you see this is a, you know, like the female, okay. female happy device. And I was like, she bought the premium one. I, I thought maybe with the, with the cord and stuff. And I was, and I was searching, and I found a bigger one right next to this oh one. And I went upstairs. God. I went upstairs, and I confronted her. I was like, honey, what are these? Okay, you can just ask me or tell me that I'm not good enough. And she goes, honey, those are curling irons. I was like, BS, those aren't curling irons. She's like, come here. And so she plugs them in. And of yeah. course, I didn't look at the dials on the side. I thought those were speed settings or intensity <laughs> settings. Intensity. Okay? And so she's sitting there and we're waiting and she's like, it, it takes a second. I was like, oh, I'm sure it does take a second. <laughs> and then it slowly started getting hot and warmer. Yeah. And warmer. And, and, then she, and then she started curling her hair and she's like, see? And I was like, oh. How have you never seen me curl my hair before with those? I don't know. I don't pay attention to and that. And even if I had one, I wouldn't hide it somewhere you could find it. You have one? What do you mean? I caught my wife doing something that she shouldn't have been doing. Let me explain. I just came back from the gym and I walked downstairs, right? I'm walking downstairs and I hear the vacuum going on. I'm like, oh, she's cleaning. I walk in on her in the bedroom, lifting the mattress. We don't have a, we don't have a light mattress, okay? We have a memory foam mattress. That thing is like 50 to 100 pounds. She is one handing that thing all the way up here and vacuuming underneath the bed. I gotta get up there. Like this, okay? And she looks at me, she goes, Guys, if you're like she got caught doing something. Do okay, this is the girl that can't even carry the groceries upstairs. Okay, <laughs> she can barely hold two bags. She's the one that goes, oh baby, I can't open this bottle of water. Can you please, can you please open it for me? I can't open. It's too tight. Babe, life is a lie. Babe, she's strong enough to do all these things. As an independent woman, I don't need you to do it for me. I just let you do it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just. I just, I just get that privilege, right? To open... Yeah! <laughs> Don't trust women. They lie, okay? What? Don't believe them. Tell me why Michelle got me a freaking pregnancy suit. It looks so real, okay? isn't it? She said, oh, since you, want me pregnant, since you want me to be pregnant so bad and you want me to have a baby so bad, I want you to wear this for a day and see how it feels. Yes! I've been feeling... Understand. I've been, look at this. I've been feeling... I've been feeling the effects already. I'm starting to do the pregnancy waddle when I walk down the stairs. I can't oh walk straight. Yo, this is tight. It's heavy. Yes. My back's starting to hurt. Yes. I had to pee for the first time sitting down today. You because, did? Yes, because like, honey, I need to see. I can't aim. Okay, like I can't. What am I supposed to? Like I can't. I can't now see you what know I'm doing. What women feel like. Guys point and shoot. Like I don't. You know what I mean? And uh, dude, sitting down. <laughs> sitting down. I have to like. Oh my god! I have to sit down like this. It's heavy! Guess what, too? She wants to go hiking today. She wants me to yes. wear this during the hike because yes. I told her, apparently I told her, oh, I want you to be active while you're pregnant. You should exactly. be active. You should be active and move while you're pregnant. And she said, oh, you're gonna find out today. You're gonna find out. Look, this is a nine month belly, by the way. This is big. It's heavy. Like, this is no joke. She's been 
pregnancy picture. <laughs> Can someone please explain to me why this female that I am living with in this apartment thinks it's a great idea to set the temperature in this house to a nice 60 degrees consistently? It's freezing! It's freezing cold! Listen, she tells me, oh, just put on a sweater, honey. I am in a whole hoodie, I'm in sweatpants, and furry socks. These are hiking socks. They're meant to keep me warm, and it's freezing cold. And then, when I raise the temperature by like one or two degrees, she swears her lord, it's so hot! Oh my gosh, I'm sweating! Listen, you look very hot today. I understand that, but that doesn't account for it's so fucking cold in this house! And then when she throws up, oh my god, she throws up BF. She throws a whole ass bitch fit when I touch what? the temperature a little bit. She goes, no, oh, why are you touching the temperature? It's so nice already. Now it's so hot. You know I get Someone hot explain easily. that to me. Someone explain. Here are two things to never say to your wife, apparently, that I learned uh, on this vacation. The first thing, um, Michelle and I actually arrived to the hotel like a day apart. And so I saw her like lunchtime today and she looked really tired. She looked like she didn't get a lot of sleep. She looked like uh, she wasn't doing so hot. So I asked her, I was like, hey, honey, you look really tired. Are you okay? Like, did you get a lot of sleep? And she goes, I wasn't wearing makeup, by the way. Okay, yeah, I left that detail out. But she looked really tired, okay? She had some... That's rude to say. She had some eye bags, okay? She didn't, Maybe, she wasn't yeah. that energized, okay? So I asked, I was like, are you tired? And she got so pissed. Yeah, and she went yeah. back upstairs after eating lunch at the hotel and so i get up there i'm like oh baby i'm sorry i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that i'm sorry but but I, so after like an hour or two she looked a little bloated because she had eaten a lot i thought but little did i know being the idiot that i am the little did i know that she's on her time of the month and apparently for that women doesn't matter. apparently that doesn't matter but okay so uh moral of the story is i should cease to exist because just stop talking okay what is the point? What is the point in asking your boyfriend, husband, significant other, honey, should I wear this or should I wear this? If you're going to choose the other one that I picked. Okay, for example. Okay, for example. Oh two dresses, right? Two dresses. She asked me the other day. She was like, honey, should I wear this one or should I wear this one, right? And I said, oh, honey, it's probably, well, this one makes you look really slim and um, it's kind of cold outside. So maybe you should go with the one on the right. And then she goes, okay. And then she walks off. And she'll walk back out and she'll wear the other dress. Okay? And she'll wear the other dress. Like, what's the point of asking me if you're gonna pick the. Does that mean I just always pick the ugly one and that's how you gauge if you're gonna wear that one or this one? To be honest, yeah. And then on top of that, when she gets out there, she's like, oh, I'm a little cold. I'm like, I told you to wear the other one. This one's so revealing. <laughs> My wife likes to ruin her own day, and I'll give you an example of why. You <laughs> this morning, we went to breakfast at a huge brunch spot. We're eating, we're having fun, laughing, blah, 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 going back and forth. And then we walk out. And of course, my wife, being the wife that she is, has to ask me a hypothetical question once a day. And so she goes, Henny, I, I saw a comedian on TikTok talk about, oh, if you could be an animal, what would you be? And she said, if I was an animal, I'd be a lioness. Yeah. Because lionesses are strong women. Independent. They run with their girls. They are, you can do things for themselves and they don't need no man, yeah. right? And I was like, okay, cool. That's great, honey. And she goes, so what would you be, honey? And knowing her and what type of answer that she would want, I asked, oh, like, is there a wrong answer? She goes, no, there's no wrong answer. Just, just answer truthfully. And I was like, okay, in that case, since I'm a 5'8 short king, I want to be a giraffe because giraffes, they're like this tall. They can look down at you. Like, that's, that's awesome, right? Why I've never. Why would you want to be a giraffe? I, honey, I can see predators from far away. Like, I have a very strong kick. I'm very practical about these things. And then she why goes, Why would you not be a lion? She, she, why would you not be a lion? I said, and, Lioness, you don't want to be my lion? You don't want to date in the animal world? <laughs> what are you talking about? I would take my girl lions and eat your giraffe. If you're in a relationship thinking about getting in a relationship, married, whatever you got, and you guys argue about petty stuff a lot, get these. Okay? <laughs> Get these. When you are mad at your significant other, put these on. If you guys are having an argument about something stupid, put these on. Why? Because how can you get mad at this? You can't get mad at each other, okay? All the mundane, stupid, superficial arguments are going to turn into laughter. We just finished arguing. Can you tell? I bet you can. Why? Because we're wearing these Cosmo and Wanda cones. Okay? Get yourself a party hat. Get yourself party hats. Multiple different colors switch it up whenever someone gets mad 
Put this on. Put this on. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I are you doing dishes? Oh, yeah, babe. Thank you, mommy. I'm doing it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Mommy! Yeah. You're doing the laundry too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it for you, honey. Thank you so much. You're, You're doing so much stuff today. <clears throat> I'm pumping in gas my wife doesn't have to tomorrow. Very thoughtful. Very <laughs> mindful. Very demure. <laughs> Do you see how I'm holding the gas nozzle so my wife doesn't have to get her hands dirty? Very considerate. Very clean. Very demure. I'm not like these other husbands. Do you see how I'm opening the door for my wife? <laughs> very respectful. Very juicy. Very demure. <laughs> Okay, uh, what do you want to eat? Mm, I don't know, you pick. Okay, uh, Taco Bell? Mm, no. Chick fil A? No. Chipotle? Mm -mm. In N Out? No. Wendy's? No. Jollibee? Mm, I'm not really craving fast food. I'm not craving fast food. Okay, uh, soup? No. Korean food? No. Noodles? No. Steak? No. What do you want to eat, babe? Why are you getting mad at me? I'm not hungry anymore. Oh my god, you know what? What did you see at home, okay? Freaking want to get jolly, babe. How about these pillows for the house? Ew, babe, no. What? what? I like checkers and you love flowers. They don't even match. No. No. Uh, fine. No. Just this once, okay? You always say that. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> look at what this man showed me this morning. Okay? What? Nasty. What? It's, so not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a big deal. <laughs> you see how easily he did that? Okay, uh, okay. To be fair, I had a lot of experience. Experience? No, no, with mannequins. What do you mean? <laughs> Man Where'd you get this experience from? Man, I worked at a department store. With bras? Yeah. You're yeah. nasty. Yeah, you like working at the store, didn't you? No, I didn't work at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn how to honey, do that? Honey, you are my first and my last. Shut okay? up. I have no... I love you. <laughs> okay, baby. Don't worry about the GPS today. I got you with the directions. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I got you. Trust me. I got you. Okay. I feel like we we're supposed to take an exit by now. Oh, let me check. Yeah, we were supposed to take an exit. What? When? Four exits ago. Four exits? Babe! Sorry! I just don't understand why we have to fight about that all the okay. time. Okay, babe. It's an apology what you're looking for. I'm sorry, okay? You sorry? Yeah, I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. God. So, do you want to get some ice cream? Okay. <laughs> Baby, just let me know when you're tired. I can drive, okay? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are we there yet? Do you mind if I try like peeing in between your legs? Ew, no! Get out! Oh my god, babe. What? Don't look, but remember that girl I was telling you about earlier? Yeah? She's right there. Where? Where? Which one? I can't tell you anything. Okay, Benny, I'm it's ready! It's about the same time! I know, i I asked you to get ready two hours in advance every time we go out. Now we're gonna be late for dinner, there's gonna be so much traffic. Oh, I gotta poop. What? Why did you go earlier? Yeah, five minutes, honey. 
Like, I'm so sick of this marriage and I'm so tired of dealing with you every day. I want to get a divorce. Hey, babe, how you feeling? You still want to get a divorce? I never said that. If you're in a relationship, new to a relationship, have been in a relationship, listen. These are the secrets to a happy relationship, okay? Here we go, first slide. If Andy is wrong and Michelle is right, then Michelle is right, okay? Michelle, Michelle is right, next. If Andy is right and Michelle is right, Michelle is right, okay? Michelle is right. Lastly, if Andy is right and Michelle is wrong, then what? Michelle's right. <laughs> Michelle's still right, okay? But in the weird case where Andy is wrong and Michelle is wrong, Andy is wrong. Andy is wrong. <laughs> if you follow these steps, you will be in a happy relationship. <laughs> just follow these keys. <laughs> Anybody's wife just automatically turn into a registered doctor every time you're sick? For example, I have a degree. Michelle, what do you mean? Michelle, every time there's something wrong with me, wants to type up in WebMD and search up the worst possible situation and the worst possible outcome for me when I have like a little cough. Like <laughs> yesterday, I came back home from a trip and I had a little bit of cough. <laughs> okay, a little bit of cough. Dude, that's I, an important okay? fact. And she secret. automatically types on WebMD and goes, "Oh you my gosh, you have COPD, which yeah. is like, what's it called?" What does that even mean? And she was like, you might have pneumonia, 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 babe. You have to go to the ER. We have to check your lungs because for liquid. you came back from a trip. That's a very valid thing to think honey, about. Honey, honey, there was a lot of dust in there, and I probably choked on a piece of fruit or something on okay, the way back home. Okay, COPD. I had some mango stuck in my throat, okay? And that's why I was coughing. But she automatically think I'm going to have some sort of heart failure and pass away. And she's like, we have yeah. to go to the doctor. I'm like, <clears throat> babe, oh wow, I'm all better. Wow, we, I guess we don't have to go to the ER and spend $2,000 on nothing. You never know, you never go to the doctor anyways. I'm invincible, I'm fine, honey, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't want kids anymore, not more. I don't want them because this guy, we just came back from the vet, okay? We just came back from the vet because this boy wasn't eating for like three days. And we were like, yeah. holy crap, there's something wrong with him. There's gotta be something, look at him. Something wrong with him. He's cranky or his stomach's something. I always like web MDing that stuff with Michelle and I was like, oh my gosh, he has some sort of chronic disease and he's gonna be sick and all this stuff. We got blood work done, we got x-rays done, we got all these scans done. Spent a lot of money by the way, we spent like what? A thousand? A thousand dollars. And guess what happened? He just had a little stomach ache. He's not That's funny. it, nothing's wrong. Blood work came out clean. Radio, radio whatever, you know, Radiology. like the, yeah, that thing, clean. Uh, x-rays, clean. Nothing's wrong. Nothing is wrong with this cat. Jimmy, uh, Nothing. He's just being picky. He just was being picky with his food. So we bought three more versions of the same food and hopefully he'll eat. But if kids are going to do the same thing and kids get sick more often and you got to, I don't know what you have to do. I'm acting like I know what it's like to have kids, but I don't want them anymore. Bye. That's too much work. Okay, I kind of still want kids, but still. Ah! How do you parents deal with this stuff? This is crazy. Am I the bad guy for saying no to my wife? Yes. Yesterday, Michelle started her gym era because summer's coming up and she said she wanted to lose a couple pounds. Yeah. I told her, honey, I think you look amazing, yeah. but do whatever you want. She said, keep me accountable, no sweets, no cookies, no brownies, no, no, and nothing sugary. And I was like, okay, I got you. No junk food, no nothing, right? Today, this morning, we went to the grocery store to get groceries. And of course, big hot sign, hot and fresh cookies just baked, comes up. And she goes, I think I'm going to get a couple cookies. I said, no, Damn, no cookies, no cookies. And she immediately looks at me and goes, you don't love me and you don't want me to be happy. Because you're supposed to say yes sometimes. What? I'm supposed to keep you accountable, okay? Of course I'm gonna say no to that. And then she got really upset at me, didn't talk to me the rest of the freaking grocery trip. And then in the car, she was just like turned to one side. She was like, don't talk to me. I wanted the cookies. Did I get her the cookies? Of course I did. Okay, of course I did. She ate four already. It's only been a couple hours. It's quite empty, yes? Because she ate four already, four. That's the chocolate chip ones. They're really good. I really, I really can't say no to this girl. <laughs> Okay, I don't think women understand how hard it is for men 
to go shopping with their significant others. Doesn't matter if it's a girlfriend or a wife, it's just so hard. For example, today, Michelle and I went to the mall and she wanted to go to Victoria's Secret. I'm like, cool, babe, I'll wait out here. She's like, no, no, no I want you to come in and, and shop with me in and see if it looks good on me. I'm like, babe, I can wait until like, you know, tonight to see you in your full sexy beauty and uh, it, it'll just be a surprise. She's like, no, no, I want you to come with me. And so I go in, okay? And obviously there's like Victoria's Secret models everywhere. Okay, like pictures and stuff and, and, and they're looking at me and, and I'm like very distracted, but obviously my wife is there. I'm like, okay, I gotta keep focused. I gotta, I gotta stay focused, brothers. Okay, and I look at her. Okay, and then she goes, what are you looking at? I'm like, I don't know. What am I supposed to be looking at, babe? What am I supposed to be looking at? Not the floor. Why are you trying well, to no, I, 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 It's disrespectful if I look at the picture. So I'm either staring up or down or at well, you. why are you so tempted to look at the picture? I'm not tempted. Just help me shop. I'm not tempted. They're just like everywhere, honey. Well, you don't need to look at the floor. Just help me shop. You try to us... not look. It shows me that you want to look. Ladies, let us wait outside. That's the moral of the story, okay? Let us wait no. outside. I honestly feel like a periods are a little bit overhyped. Like, Michelle uses it every freaking month as an excuse to, like, be a little more mean or... Are you being serious right now? What? Are you being serious? You know we have a cramp simulator, right? You want to try it? Since we're over-exaggerating? I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Okay, let's try it then. Yeah, man. This is the cramp simulator we're gonna do today. It's not he gonna apparently be... thinks that he can handle it. Yeah, I don't think, I still don't think it's gonna be that bad. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, oh my gosh! Get these things off of me. Oh, what was that? I would like to apologize to the female community. I did not understand the level of pain you guys go through every month. That was only a 4 out of 10, babe. I would like to apologize. <laughs> and I will not be making jokes or making fun of anybody for cramps ever again in periods. <laughs> periods are a serious thing, guys. Stop making jokes about periods. Thank you. It's really not that Thank funny. Thank you. <laughs> Men. Bubby, first one to the car has to make dinner and do dishes. <laughs> oh, you didn't man. even try. <laughs> you made me so fast. You know because I did freshman track. I <laughs> you weren't going to win anyway. I want lasagna tonight. Bro! I want lasagna. Okay? You didn't even hear what I said. I don't even know how to make lasagna. Yeah, just watch a YouTube video. You watch a YouTube video. I said first one to the car has to make dinner and do dishes. So you make me lasagna. Wait, what? You make a meat lasagna, bro. Can we can we run it back? No! Let's do one more time. No! <laughs> Guys, I made a freaking mistake. Okay? First off, let's just address the obvious. Look at how good she looks. Give me a little toil, honey. You look absolute. She looks absolutely stunning. Okay, anyways, Valentine's Day is coming up. I surprised her with the look. I got her some shoes or whatever. I, we have an event tonight, so I was like, I'll get her some shoes. In Korean culture, you're not supposed to get women's shoes, okay, for, for their gifts and stuff. Because in Korean culture, they say, oh, they're going to walk out of your life. But I have a little bit of a different problem. It's not that she's going to go away. She's already, you know, she's, she's ringed up. She, I put a ring on it. She ain't going nowhere. But look at the problem I have. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, why are you so shocked? Anyways, I'm not used to her seeing eye to eye with me like that, okay? Uh, it, it was never supposed to be like that. She's supposed to look up at me. So I feel like, oh, I'm here to protect you, honey. It's okay, I'm here to... babe. We love short things. <laughs> I know how to fix this. I'll be right back. Honestly, I've worn these so many times where I feel like... Like I, they're, pr they're pretty nice, so I'm ready for tonight's <laughs> event. So all my short things out there, don't get your girl heels, okay? Does anybody's wife or significant other just randomly lose their appetite all of a sudden because you tell them, oh, I don't really want what you're having? <laughs> huh? So today, we were going grocery shopping. I'm like, eh, shopping, shopping. Okay, we go to the frozen aisle, obviously, where there's ice cream, and she loves ice cream. And she sees and she's like, oh, fruit bars. And that one's really good, honey. I want some. And I was like, cool, get it. I don't, I don't really want any, but you should get it. And she goes, I did not do and that. And then she, she like carefully throws it back into the freezer and she goes, I'm okay, I don't want any more. And then she like because stomps off. And I'm like, Honey, you just told me two seconds ago you, that you wanted fruit bars. Don't let me decide if you get fruit bars or not. If you want fruit bars, get fruit bars. This also happens. This also happens. This also happens for meals as well, right? She goes, oh, honey, I'm really feeling burgers. I really want burgers. And I was like, cool. I can drive you, honey. Let's go. I don't really want any because I'm not hungry like that right now. But you should, I can drive you. You can go. And she goes, because. I don't really want burgers anymore. All of a sudden, you just told me literally five seconds ago that you wanted burgers, honey. Because we're a team, I want to eat together. We're I don't want to eat by myself, and I don't want you to eat by yourself. I just like it when we eat together. I just like it when we eat together. Mm. Fine. 
My wife never listens to me, and this is a perfect example of why she should listen to me. So we just came back from a trip. We went camping for the first time together, and I told her, I was like, hey, it's up in the mountains. It's probably going to be cold, like not the type of cold you see in L.A. I'm talking about the cold that makes your bones feel like uh, they're made of ice. And she said, honey, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll be okay. She brought Crocs. She brought Crocs and a t-shirt and maybe like one, like it wasn't even a hoodie. It was like a sweater that could barely keep you warm, okay? And now, after I told her to bring a jacket, which she decided not to do, like always, she's sick. And guess who's not sick? Me. But we'll probably get sick in the next course of a couple days because, you know, I kiss her and stuff. So, might as well both be sick. Lesson, ladies, listen to your man when he tells you to put a jacket on. And maybe, maybe that won't happen. <laughs> okay, babe. Can you tell them the story on how we first met? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so seven years ago, when we were single, supple, young, right? Why'd you stop? What was that? Who's what? Why are you making that face? Keep going. Why'd you stop all of a sudden? Okay. So like I said, seven years ago, she used to work at a boba tea shop. I've never had boba at that point. Mm -hmm. And I walked in, and I saw her. She was looking like a sh... Why do you keep stopping? What the heck was that? <laughs> What is wrong with your face? Do you want me to tell a story? I'm like having to sign it because you're like, just, like all over the place. I'm like what's wrong smiling. with you? It looks like you're having a stroke. The stitches mess up your face or something. What's wrong with you? Bevy? What? Would you still love me if you found out I was actually your cousin? Your cousin? <laughs> ah. Would you still love me? Yes. We you know why? Because we've done ungodly, unspeakable Ew! stuff. We've, we've, wow. We've done nasty stuff to each other. It's too late. You will still love me? I would still marry you. I would double down and we would have kids. We would have children together. We're That's disgusting. Babe. I would not love you anymore. We're, we're, all, we're all related together. We're Asian. We're all related anyways, right? It's all Genghis Khan up there and they had kids and whatever. <laughs> what is he Doesn't, is that, Isn't that how it works? <laughs> what? Babe? Yeah? Can you come here? What? I got this spray, and it says unscented, but I swear there's a smell. Can you smell it? <laughs> Do you like that? That was kind of nice. Why did you lick your lips just now? That cherry? No! It's kind of nice. Yeah, you like that? Let me, uh, let me smell that one more time. I don't think I Do smell it. Do it again? Yeah, let me smell that real quick. I gotta go. <laughs> tonight? Oh, Andy and I already have plans tonight. Yeah, but let me know when you want to hang out next time. I'm always down. Okay. Okay, let me know. Bye. What was that about? Rachel invited us out, but I told her we already had plans. Oh, all right. We have plans tonight. Can you pass the ranch? show about? Gordon Ramsay, honey. Gordon Ramsay? Actually, I think I'm going to eat later. What? I'm not really that hungry. You're not hungry? Mm -hmm. Okay, me neither. Get it because we said that we were gonna die it. <laughs> You're the best. Alright, babe, I'm gonna go. What the? What was that? Are you mad at me? I don't know. Did you do something to make me mad? Because if you did, then I am. But if you didn't, then I'm not. I didn't do anything. Okay, then I'm not mad. I am mad. Daddy, have Ooh. I ever told you how much it excites me when you boss me around in the bedroom? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, after you fold all the laundry, make sure you strip all the bed sheets and the pillow sheets and clean those. Don't mix the colors. This isn't what I meant. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Okay. Okay, 
We're only going to take a 10 minute nap. 10 minute nap. No more, no less. Just a power nap. Just a power nap. Because, you know, I'm just a little tired. Yeah. Baby! What time is it? 6.30?